All right, what's going on, y'all? Today, we are going to be going over the top 10 second baseman. At the number 10 spot, we have Fernando Tatis Jr. Um, this card kind of fucking sucks at this point in the game. I remember at the beginning of the game, a lot of people had him. Now, I mean, who gives a fuck, right? Like, who wants this card? Really low contact on both sides, and then on one side, it's even worse. Great power, though, so, I mean, if he's your favorite player in real life, go ahead and you get him, but... He sucks. You want to play him at second base. He, like, he has to be your favorite player. You have to be a Padres fan or some shit. Because even if you want to use him, it's like use him at shortstop. Like, why would you even use him at second base? Whatever. Yeah. Number 10 spot for second baseman. At the number 9 spot, we have Trevor Story. Again, another card that isn't that great. Just due to his contact against righties, it is extremely low. At this point in the game, 78 contact is not cool, bro. Then 92 contact against lefties, which is all right. And then his power is insane, obviously, because it's a home run derby card. His fielding is actually decent. Although, if you, I mean, when you put him at second base, it's like, fuck. Like, it's going to get smoked a little bit. It's going to get smoked a little bit. He's pretty fast. I don't know. This card isn't that great, in my opinion. It's just, I mean, number nine spot, Trevor Story. Number eight spot, we have Ozzy Albies. Low-ass contact against righties, although he's basically the best you can be against lefties. Decent power against righties, too, I guess. You know, he's got good-ass fielding stats, and he's actually a second baseman, so, like, his fielding stats don't get pummeled or anything. Like, he's pretty good. He's, he's pretty, he's kind of fast, too. At the number seven spot, we have Xander Bogarts. I really like the contact on this card. Really good power. Uh, he can't check swing for shit, so he has a little Soriano trait where it doesn't fucking matter what you do. He's swinging if you press X. Good clutch, good fielding. He only goes for like 14 k This is a very underrated card. I don't know why he's so cheap. Number six spot, we have Eduardo Escobar. Um, he's got decent contact. It's not terrible, but it's not great either. Okay, but check that out. He's a switch hitter. So people like to refer to this guy as the cheap chipper, which I really, I agree with that. I agree with that. I think he, you know, he's way worse than Chipper, but he, you know, he has a switch hitting ability. He has power. He's got decent fielding. He's got a great arm too. So he's got diamond fielding, all that. But the number five spot of Trey Turner, some people would argue he's a number one spot. This is just my personal opinion. I can't hit shit with him, but that's just, that's just me. You feel me? He's got great hitting stats, like amazing all around hitting stats. His power against lefties is a little low, but like if you square shit up against lefties, he's going to, he's going to bomb that shit. Um, but bro, the thing is when you put him at second base, and this is one of the main reasons why he's in the number five spot, his stats, look at this fielding stats. They're already trash. When you put him at second base, he now cannot throw to first, right? He now has a fucking noodle arm. Although again, he's, I mean, he's super fucking fast and shit. So offensively, you're getting a lot from him. I mean, not for me, cause I couldn't hit, but for you, you're probably getting a lot for Trey Turner. If you're willing to sacrifice defense for offense, then yeah, go with Trey Turner. At the number four spot, we have Alfonso Soriano. I'm um, not the biggest fan of this card, to be honest. I had him in my team for a little bit. Took him out. He's got great aura on hitting stats. His swing is a little bit weird. He is the creator of, I can't fucking check swing. Why isn't he check swinging? He's the creator of that. But everything is like almost damn near perfect, right? Like really, if you just look at this card, stats, perfect card. He's pretty tall, but not too tall to where he is an Aaron Judge, you know, big ass fucking strike zone, but He's also not short like Ozzy Albies where he has this little pussy strike zone, right? Which honestly, I don't really have a problem with, but some people have problems with players being too short. Um, but yeah, this Alfonso Soriano, on a perfect height, perfect stats. And if you get his swing down, I mean, he's, he might be your second baseman. He might be your second baseman, but for me, he's uh, he's all right. In the number three spot, we have Wander Franco or Wander Franco. Amazing contact, right? Switch hitter. Great discipline, great clutch. I mean, he's fucking good at everything. He's very well-rounded, just like Soriano. So at number two, we have Marcus Semien. Um, I'm not saying Marcus Semien should be on the top 10 list, but to have him up this high is a little crazy for me. Marcus Semien is like really fucking good, right? He's always clutch. His contact against lefties is, you know, a little bit lower and his power against righties is pretty fucking good. But something about this card, even defensively, like I notice him doing crazy shit. You know what I'm saying? I really think you should try this card out if you can. All right, number one spot. It's, I don't think it's an argument. Some people want to say Trey Turner should go here. I don't even think Trey Turner can fucking breathe on Jackie Robinson. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's just not my thing. He's good at everything. He's just fucking good at everything. I, I don't even know. Does he have a stat below uh, fucking 79? He does not have one stat below 79. 
How could you not think this is one of the best cards in the game? Good power, good contact. He's fast as fuck. He can bunt. If, if you're a little bitch, let's say you're a little bitch, he can bunt, right? Let's say you're not a little bitch. He can hit really well. You want to fucking check swing. He can check swing. You want to foul sh everything off. 124 vision, right? His arm, though, here's one thing, though. His arm's very weak, but, like, at second base, I mean, you're basically, you're practically kissing the first baseman. I, it's not that bad. You know what I'm saying? I never notice it. Um, yeah, he can steal bases. He can do fucking everything. I fucking, I, I love Jack. He's probably going to be my team until the end of the year, unless they release some crazy ass card. That's going to be it, y'all. If this helped you with your lineup and y'all enjoyed, leave a like, sub the channel, and uh, peace.